For this first question, we are going to look at a two-sided coin, and we're going to flip it. Now, this is a fair two-sided coin, which means it has a 50% probability of heads and a 50% probability of tails. If the first three coin flips come up tails, what is the probability that the fourth coin flip comes up tails? The important thing to note here is that the coin is going to have independent trials. Each one of these coin flips will not be dependent on what it was previously. So although you've gotten tails three times in a row, you will not have this fourth flip influenced by the previous flips. So the probability of getting tails on your fourth flip is 50%. Now this goes into the law of averages, which is a fallacy. Someone might say, you flip tails a whole bunch. Don't you think it's time for heads to come up? Well, if you looked at it the incorrect way and thought that the events of the past influence the events of the future, you might say yes. But remember, you're just flipping the coin a fourth time. The coin does not care what happened the first three times. The coin has a 50-50 shot of coming up tails, so on the fourth coin flip, it will have a 50% chance of coming up tails. The next question kind of expands upon this a little bit, and now this time we want to look at the probability of getting tails five times in a row. This time you're going to flip a coin and it's going to come up tails, 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 and tails. And it's important to realize what's going on right here. You are getting tails five times in a row, which seems kind of unlikely. Each time you flip the coin, it has a 50% probability of coming up tails. So the probability of getting tails and then tails and then tails and then tails and then tails would be 0.5 to the fifth power. And what this actually is, is the multiplication rule because each flip of the coin is an independent trial. So when we multiply together 0.5 by 0.5 and do it five times onto itself, we are actually doing 0.5 to the fifth power, and we have the probability of getting five tails in a row. These questions go over some important rules right here. The rule of independence, which allows us to multiply, is in part two, and the law of averages, which is a fallacy, is in part one.